What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Tennis Talk. My name's Cam Williams, and the Olympics is starting in a couple of days' time, so it's a great idea to go through the draw of the players and the real contenders of the tournament and who is actually playing for the gold medals. We're starting with the world number one, Ash Barty, seeing what her road to the title and to the gold medal is going to be. She's got some tough customers along the way and some big players that she has to play in the semifinals and final. Starting in the first round, she has Tormo in the first round. Now, Tormo is having her best season yet. She's at a career-high ranking. She also won her first title this year on a hard court. However, they've never played before, so this is the first time meeting between Barty and Tormo. So Barty's got to be careful because, like I said, Tormo is in great form on the hard courts especially, and Tormo, she loves to get fired up, and she is playing for Spain, so that might give her a little bit of extra energy. So that means Barty needs to be on her best game. Her second round opponent is most likely going to be Sevastova, who's currently the world number 47, but has been as high as number 11 in the world. Now, these two have actually played the one time before with Sevastova getting a win, but it was a few years ago now, and Barty is a different player to what she was a couple of years ago. So it's going to be a different story, I feel, if they do play in that second round. But again, Barty's got to be on her guard because Sevastova has had some of her best results on hard courts, especially at the slams, the US Open being the big one where she made a semi-final there a few years ago. So Barty, she's got to be careful against Sevastova. Her third round opponent going by the seeds is most likely going to be the French Open finalist and number 13 seed in this event, Pavla Chenkova, who's starting to reach her career best form. She's made multiple quarterfinals at the US Open and Australian Open, which is on the same surface as what we're playing here. So got to be careful, Barty. Also, 3-3 is the head-to-head -head record between these two, so it's split right down the middle. They played a lot against each other, and it's a very even matchup. So Barty, again, she better be playing her best, otherwise Pavlochenkova could cause an upset. Barty does make it into the quarterfinals. She's probably going to be playing against the French Open champion, Krejcikova. Krejcikova is actually in a lot of form as well, because not only is she at a career-high ranking at number 11, she also just won her first hardcore title in singles at the Prague Open two weeks ago. So she is on a roll in form and a winning streak, so... Barty does play the French Open champion on a hard court. Could be difficult. They did play a couple of weeks ago on the grass. That's the only time they've ever met. And Barty got the win at Wimbledon. Of course, Barty went on to win the title. But Krejcikova, since then, has gone away, won a title on hard court. So that could be a very difficult matchup for Barty if she does play Krejcikova in that quarterfinal. Barty makes it into the semifinals. She has to play against one of the biggest hitters in the game. The number three seed, Sabalenka, who has been in great career best form for the entire year. Just made her first semifinal of a major back at Wimbledon. And also started the year off with a win on a hard court in Abu Dhabi. So she knows how to play on hard courts. And the record with Barty is 4-4. Four, four. So they played eight times, split straight down the middle. And they've had some epic battles this year, having already played three times and Barty holding a 2-1 record in their 2021 meetings. But the only time they played on a hard court was back in Miami in the quarterfinals. And Barty got the win there in three tight sets. So if they do play in the semifinals, expect it to be a very close matchup. For some reason, every time these two play this year, it goes three sets. So it is going to be an absolute epic if the number one and number three seeds play. In that gold medal match, the person that's probably going to be waiting for Barty is the world number two and local hope, Naomi Osaka. Australian Open champion, of course, versus the Wimbledon champion. It'll be a champ versus champ battle. And Osaka's hardcourt form has been awesome. She's only lost the one match on hard courts this year. And of course, has that win at the Australian Open, which goes along with her other Australian Open and US Open titles. So all her slams have been on hard courts. And the head-to-head -head between these two is split straight down the middle at two apiece. So they played four times, 2-2. Two -two. And the last time they played was actually in the final of Beijing back in 2019. Barty was world number one at the time, and Osaka got the win in three sets. So very close matchup between these two, and haven't played for a couple of years, so really intrigued if they do play for the gold medal, especially being in Japan. Will that hurt or help Osaka? But I expect to go three sets if they do play in that final. So there it is, the road to gold for Ash Barty. Let me know down in the comments below. What are her chances? She is the favorite going in. Probably equal favorite with Osaka, I would expect, because Naomi Osaka is looking pretty good as well, especially on hard courts in 2021. But again, let me know down in the comments below how far can Barty go? Will she win the gold medal? Or will she even just get a medal, maybe? She might just get the bronze medal. Remember, players that lose in the semifinals play each other for the third place trophy, which is the bronze medal. Do you think Ash Barty can get a medal this year? And if so, can it be gold? So there it is, the road to the gold medal for Ash Barty. Very tricky situation. A lot of players to play.